and it just ran up and it's sitting down now. Let's see if it'll stay. Nope, it's running off. It's a little different than that hot spot of woods. When I left there just a second ago, I had about four ticks on me and a bunch of mosquitoes, which I don't mind. But we're gonna try a little something different. I got all my stuff. I just gotta find some spots. First signal is a 57. I'm thinking this crazy might be a little deep. Oh, I threw it out. Everything's full tab. Right next to the water. Stop. So this is my first day. It is, look. It's nice, kind of an amber. I had hoped this had would turn out kind of incredible, but there's probably two or three foot of uh, mulch. Just, you know, years and years of everything on the bottom of this, so everything's really deep. And so far, tons of pool tabs and bottle caps. So even though I'm suited up to win, I didn't. So I'm going to try a new spot. Different section, magnet this time. So far, just barbed wire and nothing else. But I'm gonna keep dragging it up and down, up and down, and all around. See what may be in here. May go back and get the detector. Not sure. I got my first catch. Ha! Huh. I think it's a trap. I guess I better look around. It's been in here a while. A long while. There's channels out there that would take this and restore it and make it new. Tell them where it is. Of course, it's starting to rain now. That's okay, I'm in the moisture, so really no change. As long as it doesn't start pouring, I think I'll be fine. I passed a few old jars, and I'm looking for something else. And if we find it, I'll show it to you. There's a little slough going up through here, but the thing is, it's the ground is so soft. That's kind of hardening up now. Really have no idea where I am. I'm pretty sure I'm right behind this camera, but you never can tell these days. There's so many apps out there, applications. Red berries, blackberries. I've got one more option. But I want to show you something here in a few minutes when I get settled and planted. You know how 
the big headphones that go with your metal detectors are big like earmuffs and it's like putting little heaters on your ear in the winter well i ordered a little adapter to make it go from a quarter inch to something else i don't know what something else is because i don't know what the standard is and then i ordered a pair of sport uh headphones the little kind that kind of wrap over your ears they're not earbuds so what i'm gonna do is take my adapter plug it into the machine plug the uh other adapter to the adapter it's just plug and play and then i'm going to oh, i think it's starting to rain harder no, it's not. There's a waterfall. How did I come down here? I think I walked. I'm going to plug up my little ear thingies. And then, I'm going to see if I can make them all watertight. And, uh, go underwater with them. Because even when I'm in the creek's underwater detecting. I'm not submerged forever. And these are IP whatever, whatever, seven. So you only get like 30 minutes underwater with them. I'm not sure I'll get that long, but I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work, I'll order another pair. They were only $12. I mean, 12 bucks is 12 bucks, I admit it. I don't just throw away money either, but for $12, I can take a chance. And then, since I know they're gonna at least work, where's my exit wound? I will uh, just use it for metal detecting in dirt and take those big jump. 1972 ear muff speaker thingies and just put them under the wagon seat or something. I also ordered some of the blue waterproof headphones just in case none of that works because I've always used just the standard headphones that come with the machine, the AT Gold and the AT Pro. And I've dropped them in the water. A lot. I mean where they have sank. And they still work. Yeah, they get a little scratchy. You gotta dry them out. Right with the quickness. And the glue comes loose too. And the little speaker comes off in your hand. And you just got to uh, Knock three times on the ceiling and then push it back on and it works, but we'll try that later. Before the next storm rolls in, I want to show you the only thing worth not throwing in a garbage can. And a lot of you may say, man, throw that in a garbage can, but I got a feeling tonight's going to be a good night. I don't know if those are sticks. Those are sticks. I don't know why I care about this. I've got 50 of them hanging in the chicken house. About in the same shape. Nah, not really. Not this bad. They just uh, have been sitting around. A little side note. Those are a lot cheaper at Firehouse Subs than they are at Lowe's. And they're prettier, aren't they? So anyway, that's it. All that work. All the time I put into that. Which I didn't make you watch. Thanks for watching my videos.